welcome back so in this lecture let's see how to swipe in appium so swipe is one of the common method we use whenever we are working on mobile apps right so it's more important that we know how we, we need to know how to swipe using appium automation script so let me go back to emulator and let's try out swipe concept here in api demo so you might be wondered why I am using the specific app to explain the features because the Appium guys itself provided this app showing that so whatever the capabilities a mobile can support we all have included that in, in this API so if you can practice on this API with our methods you can work on any other app okay so it's very good for practice and then you can work on the app which you want to interest it maybe in your company or maybe in the app which you have downloaded in your mobile right so click on views in one of the lecture i have told you how to uh, download an, an an app into emulator and work on that maybe you will come across that lecture okay so if you have some favorite apps which you want to automate there is one lecture which clearly explain how to download that app into this emulator and start working on it okay you need not worry there is one lecture which explains that fine so here i want to click on date widgets okay so here i and i need to select this inline so thereafter first of all i would click on this nine what happens so after clicking on nine my mark shows to 15 right I want to swipe to left side so I'll hold here and I'll swipe the left side so it comes and falls on 45 see it again so if you have this app in front of you if you are working with me parallelly just come to this section so inline and first of all I would click somewhere here so that app resets to specific clock time and then I need to swipe to this side 45 so how can you do that using Appium? Okay, programmatically, how can you achieve this swiping from here to exactly to 45? Okay, let's see that. Um, let me create one more new class saying um, swipe demo. Okay, so let's come from beginning again so when we click on api api demos we need to select views so that's a common code which we have already written for gestures so let me pull out that uh, basics here it is so this is the common code first i can write to say swipe demo so after hitting the app then to click on views which we have done in our previous lecture and this way we can hit that views also okay let's not waste the time again to get the locator of views which we have already done in our previous lecture so move your mouse okay i need to extend a base method right extends base which actually have the desired capabilities and it will ask me to add those declaration perfect now so here i need to select date widgets i would take the screenshot again to get that date widgets yeah okay so right you can identify uniquely with the text driver dot find element with x path and you know how to write export slash slash get the tag name class um, at the rate text attribute equals to value that's nothing but date widgets cool and i would just go and click on it dot click right so what next so once we clicked on this date widgets we need to select this inline right let me take that snap as well yeah inline 
so text again okay so let's do something separate uh, differently we all having xpath from quite last two test cases let me go with ui automator driver dot find element by android ui automator you know right how to define an attribute and value remember attribute and value in the brackets sorry yeah this is how you need to write if you go back to your a basic section and where we have written yeah ui automator test yeah you see here attribute brackets and you need to provide value of it text so in the similar fashion um in swipe demo you need to place the value in this double quotes and this is the value but whenever you place something in double quotes double quotes inside double quotes is not acceptable so we will give black slash that's it error is gone and we are asking to click on that perfect now go back right real challenge starts here let me get the screenshot okay so first i would click on this 9 icon okay so that it resets to 15 so how can i click on that 9 let me select in ui automator and you see that observe carefully if you click on 10 class and package name is same there is no text unlike what we are doing in the previous lectures there is no resource id class is same for all the members so how can you identify uniquely when there is class and package if you carefully observe there is one attribute called content disk here this keep on changing okay so we can use that attribute to actually identify it so okay so let's write an xpath to handle that driver dot find element with xpath okay so tag name is a class okay so one thing you need to know here if you see some special characters in tag name like dollar is something like that then xpath doesn't recognize it so unfortunately you cannot use this as a tag name just because of the dollar symbols which are present in the class if there are some special characters in your class name which we are taking as a tag name xpath doesn't accept this try it out say slash slash tag name at the rate uh, contact description equals to 9 it should fail saying that the dollar is a special character so you know i came across a lot of scenarios in my life when i'm working with ipm so you cannot go with an xpath if you have some special characters like this so what else you cannot use xpath here but still that doesn't big it's a big deal for us we still have an ui automator right we can go that and say attribute bracket value or there is one more thing so like slash slash tag name at the rate attribute equals to value that's what we generally do right let me write the syntax again now if you don't want to give tag name so why we are not going with xpath here just because tag name have some special character and xpath will not take that so we are missing this because of that we are not going with this xpath so that we are trying out some other alternate right you can there is one tricky part here you can skip the tag name by giving star a regular expression so that means take any tag name okay so whenever you provide a specific tag name then xpath will go and look for that specific tag name once it identify it then it will match the condition called attributes equals to value okay but if you give the star that means any tag name is acceptable so it will pull out all the tag names and in that results it will go and identify for this condition attribute equals to value so however again we will reach it here only so just because of this tag name problem we thought of going to another locator but still not required you can simply say slash slash star a regular expression that means any tag is acceptable okay so let's stick with xpath only 
so it's a good example to you even i never realized that i can explain this concept okay so slash slash i'll say regular express star take any tag name doesn't matter but that tag name should have context description value that's what we are saying content disk value as 9 so that is our condition if this satisfies to any tag name go and click on it that's what we are saying in our earlier steps we are saying go to this tag name and then identify this condition here vice versa go and click on any item where you have this attribute equals to value doesn't matter about the tag name right so that's the reason we can give a star you can kill you can still give us tag name here but because of the dollar icon we are not giving that okay set dot click this works so shall we run till here and check before we continue of swiping this let's check whether our code is executing properly or not till this step and thereafter we can continue to our swiping concept okay right click run as java application and let's quickly open the app and see whether it clicks on 9 or not views red widgets inline and see that it clicked perfect so we successfully handled on clicking 9 with the help of regular expression xpath okay so after you click on 9 let me show you so it automatically goes here now our next step is swipe from here to 45 so that's our task let's see how can we do that in our next lecture with the help of touch actions as i told you right so whatever the mobile gestures you need to perform you need to call touch action class just like what we have did in our previous lecture right let's see that and one more important thing along with these videos please start reading blogs or books on appium okay so i know this course covered almost all the topics on appium mobile automation but as a supplement if you have if you read a book on appium so that will really make you master on this tool okay so i have shown you the way how we can automate all these functionalities and i am keep on showing you in the same way so when you read a book from another author there will be one more perspective of doing it and combining all this you can simply master this tool so even me when i am learning something new i will not only depend upon the official documentation or videos i'll have some books as well uh, which will supplement as a very good information on the tool we are learning okay but uh, there are very few videos in the market on appium where you can find in amazon or packtpub.com websites but if you cannot afford that and if you need some kind of pdfs on appium you can email me because however i will have all the collection of all techie books whatever i am learning and teaching okay so that's my interest of learning a book and reading at least a chapter per day because of any, it might be any tool okay so in that way in, if you want any book and if you are interested to read on appium and want to explore more about this tool you can just drop me an email i will send you the books i have on this tool okay you can email me on rahul online sorry rahul online tutor at gmail.com and uh, just let me know about your background experience like if you are in already working on appium or you are trying to learn appium so based upon your experience i can suggest a good book and i can share you that pdf with you okay so if you can buy it please go ahead to amazon.com and if you cannot afford just drop me an email i'm there to help you all right so see you in the next lecture with another new topic thank you